Hey everybody, um, this is another updated video of um, the HTC Magic. Uh, the reason for this post today is simply because I need to answer a few of your questions. Um, I've had about 100 emails within the last couple days in regards to my previous videos and I just figured I'd just make it abroad in terms of everybody knowing what's going on. You don't actually need to um, basically even root your phone anymore to get the Hero ROM. Uh, what you need to do is start looking at uh, the XDA development website that I'll post on the uh, website just up there or on the post just right up there and uh, what you want to do is just simply click on that and uh, start doing some reading you'll realize that you don't need to uh, get your phone rooted to get any of this done so I don't know whether or not I should keep the videos up uh, you let me know uh, or uh, all you need to do is just simply download the update uh, they've made them now so that you can actually, or they've made the customized ROMs so readily available now that all you need to do is find the one that's right for your phone. Uh, if you're on Rogers or T-Mobile, you'll want to get the uh, Rogers version. And uh, I think the latest version of the Hero ROM uh, with the Rosie APK uh, that runs pretty fast on your phone will be the 1.3 version of uh, Fatal 1. Um, I'll go ahead and post a quick link to that as well. Um, I still have the same, I'm still kicking with the, uh, the same version as I last showed you. There you go. As you can see, it runs flawlessly. Haven't had even one error, so it's great. The Wi-Fi runs automatically. You don't need to push anything. The logo now is uh, not G1 anymore. It simply just shows HTC Magic as the first boot screen, which is kind of nice. You don't feel like you're getting some half-assed ROM on your phone, you're actually feeling like you've got the real thing. It is, in fact, the real thing that's just been customized for your phone. Last but not least, don't get this done on your HTC Dream. The HTC Dream thread is in the XDA development website. These guys port these ROMs over for your phone, including the Magic, so you got to make sure you get the right one for the right phone. Um, if you don't know how to fast boot, you'll find that there's a great uh, tutorial on that as well. Um, I'm still working on mine. I'm actually going on vacation for a while, so I won't be back for a couple weeks. But when I get back, I'm still uh, planning on getting that video edited. Um, but you know, to save yourself a bit of time, uh, if you've been solely relying on these videos, which I hope you're not, in order to get your phone uh, basically modified, uh, by all means, just go to that website. Again, I'll post it right on the vid on the uh, on the right there, and uh, just go ahead and click on that and should be able to uh, at least get started. Do as much reading as you can. Last thing you want is to um, do a, a radio upgrade or downgrade and break your phone for good. Um, it's really important that you, you read before you download and install because these phones are, like you know, quite a bit of money and uh, last thing you want to do is not be able to um, either A, get your phone fixed because it's out of warranty now, or B, uh, just simply not be able to do anything because the phone just can't seem to turn on anymore. Um, I've run into a few instances in the, in the beginning where luckily I did install the radio but I didn't install the right version and all the phone would do is just stay on the Rogers uh, logo at the main screen and that's very frustrating and it means a lot of um, kinda like a lot of uh, improvisation in order to get this done ASAP so that you can keep your phone and, and, and make sure it's still working properly. So the last thing I want to talk about on this video is um, basically restoring your original image. In other words, restoring your original Rogers ROM. There are hacked versions out there, but the truth of it is, is that unless Rogers goes ahead and HTC goes ahead and posts the actual Rogers ROM, you're not going to get it, and neither can I. So um, if you're going to go ahead and modify your phone, keep in mind the next best thing you can do is if you want to get just a plain simple Mary Jane you know uh, running or operating system you can go get go ahead and do the Daldroid ROM on your phone it's basically um, uh, an unlocked version of the the HTC Magic ROM uh, you're gonna get the Rogers SPL still working you're gonna go ahead and uh, and get the radio still working properly so you can make phone calls have data usage your Wi-Fi will work. Everything will work. The only difference is you won't have the Rogers logos uh, or the Rogers uh, programs when you uh, use your phone, which is kind of nice for me. At least I don't I don't care for any of them. But if you do, then make sure that uh, maybe you stick you know you stick with what you've got for a little bit longer. 
So I hope this helps. Um, again, I've, I've got quite a few people asking all these different questions, so I hope I, I, I kind of answered a few. And if you got more questions, I'll probably just keep doing some more uh, videos if I get a chance when I get back. Uh, the tutorial is yet to come. Uh, it is more of a question of uh, what's basically happened is I don't have uh, an appropriate camera for this, so um, when I do try to actually focus on the screen, um, the letters just come up blurry. And if I want to do this right, you guys just need to kind of just hang tight and uh, give me a bit of time. Okay, enjoy. Bye.